In early December, International Volunteers' Day was celebrated across Russia to highlight the important role the volunteers have in staging the FIFA Confederations Cup 2017 and the 2018 FIFA World Cup. I wanted to volunteer because it's an excellent opportunity to take part in a unique event. Volunteering for me means sharing new experiences, meeting new people coming from different countries. To date, the 2018 FIFA World Cup volunteer programme has broken the record for the number of applications in the tournament's history. Around 160,000 have been received from both within Russia and internationally. And in Kazan, some of these volunteers were front and centre at the FIFA Confederations Cup draw. When we consider the role of the volunteers in staging events like the Confederations Cup and World Cup, it's easy to underestimate their impact on the tournaments. They're the ones who help create the event's feeling of celebration. <laughs> Here at the Confederations Cup draw, I can already see that we are creating a family atmosphere among the volunteers. There are volunteers from all 11 host cities, and we have a number of foreign ones too, who have come from the USA, Portugal, France, and all of them are working well together. The life of a volunteer is interesting because you meet lots of people, some of whom become your friends for life. An important part of the volunteers' process is the training. Before any event, whether it's the draw or something similar, we hold mandatory training sessions with all the volunteers. In my opinion, the experience the volunteers gain at an event is very important. It helps develop their skills and communication, gives them a level of responsibility and teaches them to conduct themselves in a professional manner. In the past, we've seen examples of volunteers who, having been part of a large event, have gone on to secure employment thanks to the career development they had as a volunteer. With the Tournament of Champions set to kick off in June and the final draw scheduled for later in the year, 2017 looks set to be a busy year for the volunteers.